Mona Lisa behind the glass offers visitors to go inside the painting, not only to look at it from outside, but to try to be within the universe of the painting. something completely new. It's the first time that we are using virtual reality for an experience for the visitors within the Louvre. It is the most visited museum in the world. We are welcoming roughly 10 million of visitors, which is of course a lot. Everybody wants to see the painting, but because of the crowd, you have the average of 30 seconds standing in front of the paintings because there are too many people. It's very important that we are able to address both people, the people who are coming here and people who are not coming here, but who are interested in the Louvre. They said, we need to find a way to get closer to the painting and what Da Vinci wanted to express. And the VR experience sounds to be the best way to do it. We were really happy to work with HTC and MEC to create this meeting between our curators, experts of Leonardo, and VR experts. It took us a gigantic amount of work to separate the myth from the truth, and we discovered the techniques that were used. We wanted to explain the story behind that painting. The composition and the way Da Vinci did it was a revolution at this, because he created a new way of painting people. Mona Lisa is both a masterwork, but it's also an image that is very easy to understand. She's a woman, but still she's not a movie star, and she's behaving very properly, so it's quite easy to get along with her. Bring Mona Lisa to life was a real challenge because we only know her face. Should we represent her as a painting? Should we represent her as a living woman? We had the chance to go to the Louvre and be alone with Mona Lisa. We can really focus our attention on every detail. But we can't really see every detail because you have an old varnish, the glass in front of her, with all the deep scientific analysis they gave us. We have infrared, we have X-ray, we have special reflectography. One of the most challenging part was to model the face because her expression is extremely subtle. We worked with a 3D modeler specialist. We did a thousand back and forth to find a good expression. We had to decide exactly how she was dressed. We used all the scientific elements with light, X-ray, and we established a map with the different pieces, clothes, just to ensure it responds accurately when she moves. We started to try to recreate the environment around her. We tried to understand what kind of place she was in. The landscape that Devonshi did behind Mona Lisa is not a realistic one. It's part of the magic the relationship between the, what the background says. And we had to remove Mona Lisa, recreate the background, try to expand and to guess how it would look like. In the home version, you'll be able to find more information, more content about Mona Lisa and other artworks as well. We have recreated the Grand Gallery. It's the main gallery from the Louvre and you will see four paintings of Leonardo and you will have some details about the different paintings. I think innovation and digital innovation is great for museums and we have to use it as a tool to discover again art and masterpieces. Nevertheless, we have to be careful not to use too many screens between the art and our audiences. The overall experience will enable the visitors to open their eye to the Joconde and to Mona Lisa and maybe to open their mind also. It's quite difficult to look at the most famous painting of the world what I am seeing when I'm looking at Mona Lisa. And the VR will help visitors to understand what is behind the curtain. <laughs>